We are the champion for that. We are especially given the task to take care of the environment. And it is part of the Quran. It is the part of the religion of Islam, which is the part of the religion of Islam, which means Islam does submit to the commands of Allah. And it is one of the great commandments of Allah that we should take care of the environment. If you go over the literal meaning of the environment, the literal meaning of environment is surrounding only, surrounding. But now we are talking about environment, we are talking about the natural environment. We are not just talking about environment. Like example, a school has an environment, the house has an environment, the playground has an environment. Here right now we are sitting, it has an environment. But this is not our topic here. Our topic is about the natural environment, which is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should not destroy it, rather we protect it. And rather we avoid people how to deal with the environment. The environment is a surrounding which is we, we should be the good for all living beings. We are not just only the living beings living on this earth. There are other living beings like human being and beside human being is animals, plants. They are all living beings. They are also sharing this environment with us. But who we are on the earth? Who we are on the earth? We are the Khalifa. Because Allah said in the Quran, وَإِسْقَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَيْكَةِ إِنِّي جَعِلُنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً The God Almighty Allah was uh, speaking with the angels, which is the one of the special creation, who are also present on the earth. So we need to take care of the environment because the angels are using that environment also. Angels also hate the environment, dirty, smelly. But the angels love the environment which is clean and good smell. The angels are doesn't come. Example, if your place is dirty, the angel doesn't like to come there because your environment is dirty. But if are, your environment of your house or your uh, community or your business place is good and clean and good smell, angels like to come there. And there is another uh, people who are on the earth are the jinn, which is unseen creation. Example, if you have a bad environment, the bad jinn will come and affect you, will destroy you. But if you have a good uh, environment, the bad gene will run away because they don't like the clean environment. The bad gene, they like the dirty environment. So environment is very important for us. And Allah said, Inni jailun fil ardi khalifa, I'm going to appoint a khalifa on earth. The angel immediately responded to Allah when Allah said, I'm going to make Khalifa on earth. Khalifa has meaning we are like caretaker. We are like the caretaker on the earth. He is giving us a, taking care of the earth. Allah owns the earth. This earth is the property of Allah. Like you have a house, you don't live there. You can somebody, okay, kau yung tiwala dito. Okay? You are going to be caretaker of this uh, property. So Allah is making us the caretaker of the earth. The Khalifa is a caretaker. Example, somebody borrow your car. You, buy, you use the car, you damage it. When you damage the car and you return to the owner, the owner will get mad at you. I give you the car to use it, not to destroy it. Why you destroy my car? So Allah is the owner of this earth we are living. He gives us to use it, utilize it, enjoy it, but not, not to destroy it. And on the earth, we need to protect the environment. We need to have a clean environment, healthy environment, good environment, and not to destroy the environment, the earth, because the people are going to use, are not just a human being, but animals, plants, jinn, angels, and all the creatures.